Now I'm just having my coffee while we are recording another Mini 3 Pro drone related video. So let's get into it. Today I will show you how to fit everything you need for your drone into the Mini 3 Pro bag that comes with your Fly More Combo. A lot of people seem to be struggling with this and complaining about this bag. I reckon this bag is brilliant and it is perfectly designed for the Mini 3 Pro Fly More Combo. Which sort of makes sense considering DJI supply this bag. And this is what the inside of it looks like. And there's a pocket up here. And there's also a zipper pocket at the back which I don't even use. So let's see what we've got that needs to fit into that bag. We have the drone. We have the controller with the joysticks attached. You've got your two charging cables. You have the USB-C to USB-C that came with your drone. And you have the USB-A to USB-C that came with your Fly More Combo. You have your charging hub with three batteries. One battery came with your drone and two further batteries came with your Fly More Combo. I have all my spare propellers and the tool DJI supplied to swap them over. I have some spare joysticks just in case one of my other ones goes missing. And I have the DJI wall charger adapter, 30 watt with USB-C output. Now let's see how all that fits into this bag. People seem to struggle with it for some reason. It is so simple. Open your bag up. The first thing we'll do is we'll get rid of the spare props in the top pocket. The propeller tool, top pocket. Spare joysticks, top pocket. Zip it up. And you don't really ever have to access these unless something happens, i.e. you need to change your propeller or you've lost one of your joysticks. So these just stay in there permanently. Now there's both the cables and there's a little compartment down here. So I'll just slip them straight in there and they're gone. Here's the drone without a battery. Now if you do have four batteries in your Fly More Combo or even more, maybe five batteries, you can keep one battery in there. That's not a problem. You can keep a battery inside the drone. And I also like to use these cheap eBay prop holders to stop the props from flopping around. There's the drone, drops straight in there. Now here we have the charging hub with the three batteries in it. And I'll put it in like that into that space there. There you go, there's the charging hub with the batteries. So now we get our controller with the joystick still attached for convenience. If you like, you can take them off, but I just leave them on. And that controller just slips into that space here with the joysticks in this empty void there. So the controller is going in like that. Bit hard to do it one-handed for the camera. There it is, hopefully you can see that. There's the controller, there's the joysticks in the void, there's your charging up the three batteries, and down here is your drone. Now the only thing that's left is your wall charger. I try and look after my stuff really, really well, and I hate scratching things and damaging things and marking things. So I've got one of these bags, which is just a bag off an old pair of sunglasses that I no longer have. So what I do, I get the charger adapter, I drop it into the bag, close it up, and that's it there. Now that prevents this from getting scratched, and it also prevents that from scratching anything in the bag. And all you do is drop it in there. Now for good measure, I always throw a silica gel packet in with my drone. So you can just put that anywhere in there, and this is it. You zip that up. There you go. Personally, I find this bag is absolutely brilliant. I love it. It is perfectly made for the job. I do still have a hard case for my drone. You can see it up there. And I've also got videos on that hard case. And that hard case is brilliant. 
But most of the time I actually use that. If I'm going away four-wheel driving or something like that in my four-wheel drive or going away camping where it might get a little bit rough, I'll get all the stuff that's in here and I'll throw it in the hard case. But don't discount this as a good and very valid option to store your Mini 3 Pro. Now, if you found this video useful and entertaining at all, do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button, lock your Mini 3 Pro carry bag for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.